what's up everyone so today we'll be looking into bookstack an open source self-hosted wiki so this application is structured in a way that you would have your books organized there are shelves inside a shelf you'd have your books and inside a book you have pages this is what a page looks like there are headings subheadings then their content you can also have images code snippets links and all, all that stuff to my left hand side i have a navigation menu as i'm scrolling it's going to highlight what i'm looking at and this is the uh, navigation or the path i took to get to this page if i am a owner of this page then i can edit copy and move you know do all that kind of stuff then there is a search feature let's do something like fast boot so it's going to also read the page content in order to give you a better result so this is pretty cool and this is what we are going to host in the local machine today and let's get started all right here i'm on ubuntu 20.04 i'll start by updating the package cache so i'll do sudo apt update next we are going to install docker and docker compose sudo apt install docker and docker compose next um if i try to run docker ps for example i don't have access to the docker daemon because uh, the current user is not in the group docker so if you don't know what the current user is you can run who am i this is the current user so i'm going to add this user to the uh, docker group let's do that by running sudo uh, user mod append the group docker to the syntax user or the current user now this change to be affected i have to restart the pc so i'll do reboot okay now i'm back let's run docker ps again hopefully it should uh, give you a success output at the moment we don't have any containers so that's why you are only seeing the columns of the table okay next what we are going to do is we are going to open up a browser and go to this repository you will find the link to this repository in the video description below and you're going to find the docker compose.yml file go to row this is the file right click save page as save it to home directory now you can close the browser okay next let's open up the downloaded file with in a text editor so this is the file here i'm going to change the app url to localhost and the port is going to be 8080 as you can see we have the 8080 port for this application so this is the url and you have like database secrets and all that stuff in defined in the file so if you are not using it locally if you are like uh, hosting it somewhere you may uh, you have to make sure you have you are using you know really uh, good secrets and all that stuff but we are hosting it today in uh, in in our local machine so this is good enough for me okay now close the file and in the terminal window if you do ls you should see the docker compose file in the current directory if not you have to cd into that and run docker compose up now docker compose is going to read the docker compose.yml file in the current directory and it's going to download all the images necessary and it's going to run all those images so you will see two containers at the end um, if i do open up another terminal and docker ps now if i can spell that docker ps 
you will see two images running okay let me just yeah there we go we have one book stack and one my mysql uh containers running okay now you can go to the browser and go to local host 8080 and you should see the bookstack login page the default password is admin at admin.com and the password is password super secure password here you can create bookshelf and add books um, in there you can create pages okay now if you want to start this service each and every time you log into your pc for example if you reboot now it's not going to start this application automatically that's kind of annoying so what you can do is you can run um, docker update and at the restart stay rt restart flag and we are going to pass in unless stopped so it's going to restart the service unless you stop the service manually so next thing would be the name of the container so let me open up another um terminal window then run docker ps so you have the name for uh this thing right here i mean the sorry this is the name for this particular container so copy that paste it here okay that's updated next i'm going to do do the same for the mysql container as well copy this paste it here and run it just to make sure i'm going to restart my pc reboot i'm back and let's see if the application is being loaded yeah there we go um it's already has started you don't have to do anything all right um there is very one last thing that i have to mention in this video that's how to back up so you will find the volumes for docker inside um let's do sudo ls var lib docker volumes uh, there we go we have the volumes listed here so if you want to back up everything you have um, in these volumes you can uh, you know just back up these stuff these three files specifically you have the mysql uh, stuff then i guess images and all that stuff you upload uh, goes into these two based on the i guess privileges if it is public it probably goes into this i don't know um so these three files you need to back up um yeah i think that's pretty much it thanks for watching have a nice day